What up guys, just came from jogging outside, took a quick shower and now it's time to finish up the Marius missions. Oh wait, you can't see this. Okay, so as everybody knows, I took a long time doing these missions. They definitely could have been done long, long time ago, as many people did. But I'm finally getting it definitely this week. The only mission that is holding me up at this point is to do for the library in battles, which you know I will do anyway. All of the other missions I will complete all of them in like one hour after finishing this final mission. So it's time to grind some library in and get it. I'm super stoked about getting Marius as soon as possible. I'm still, you know, I don't have the perfect 4P stone skin set or the accessories on him, but Marius is so powerful that even if you have to run attack ring or whatever, it's still insanely good. Also, you... Oh, okay, fuck. Also, you probably might see that I'm kind of messing up and... Not messing up. What's the, what's the way you say it in English? I'm kind of trying new things and I'm playing with the camera. No green screen today. I had, had this issue, which you probably... <laughs> saw in the past if you saw my live streams on summer that my camera kept getting too hot and dying during the stream and I couldn't run them good settings on it because of that but now I have a solution for that I literally have a fan attached to the camera so now I can run the max settings and play with that not that it you know not that it gives me any wins in live arena but it definitely feels nice and we're trying out the, not the green screen but the actual actual in not in game <laughs> real life footage today in celebration of the camera settings uh, I don't know what I want to pick yet probably Rotos but hmm almost could consider going with Eva at this time it would be nice to have a speed booster, but uh, let's go with Necrot. Might go with Eva or Rodos as the last one. Let's see what he picks. Maybe if he goes with something like Lazarus, maybe I'll just go with the rooster just for the affinity. Okay, Harima and Wukong, and that might be triple Nuger team. I'm kind of tempted to go honestly, since we have the Necrot, we could we could ban the Wukong and go with Eva, and I think Eva can take some hits. And I don't I don't know if he wants to face the Eva in, in this battle. Let's give it a go. Yeah, Wukong is the one that I'm most afraid of. Of course, Marius buff stripping and putting enfeeble and stuns is super annoying. But we might we might get away with that. We do have the mod passive, we have Necret, though the immunity is going to get buff strip anyway. And we do have Lightning Gauge on Eva, so... Wait, I don't think that even works against them. No, it, it should work, it should work. Haven't been using that in long time, since Necret hasn't been relevant. I'm not even quite sure if it works against the Marius buff strip or not, but... I think it should work, but I guess we'll find out. Because the buff strip doesn't work against protected Boss? Yeah, we didn't lose the immunity there. Or did did we? Like that buff is protected, the lightning cage. But I don't know if it actually protects may, may, maybe it does, maybe it does. Anyway, we We didn't get enfeebled and we still have one turn of immunity. Now two because of mod. I think we're good. This is what I was talking about talking about before. I don't have attack buff, but this I don't have attack buff and they have Harima, but um, pretty sure I can block revive either one of his nukers. Let's go for the Marius. Yeah, okay. That that might be close with Harima. Probably I would kill it. Definitely with attack buff, there's no way I wouldn't kill it, but it might be a little bit close. Yeah, that, that was like... Half of the damage we did a little bit extra with the Necrot. 
but it was pretty much half of the damage with the A1, so probably the A, A um, was the A2, probably A2 would kill it. Uh, I think we should protect the mod. L last video I was kind of planning to use Eva, but I never found any opportunities to use it, and I exactly wanted to test this matchup because I meet a lot of, like, many, many teams that I battle have both Marius and Harima. It's insanely common. It's probably like 50% or more of the teams that I meet have both of these together. And this is exactly what I was planning to do. Also, I think we can get the cooldown reset now. This should be enough damage to get a kill. Yeah. Okay, nice. Th that was a good Eva test. But yes, since I, I'm not really... I don't have any attack nuker that I'm super keen about using right now. I think I'll go with Eva. At least, maybe I changed my mind. I mean, I'm always trying out new things, but for now, I kind of like using Eva. I think he broke the polymorph there, but he didn't have enough uh, accuracy or six star blessing, so I didn't get polymorphed. Little bit hyped up because I was running just a second ago and I'm. Uh, can you see that? This is like a Finnish energy drink. It's a little bit more like premium one, but it's it's a good one. And it's sugarless. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, it's gonna mirror it, but it says Sokeriton. Soccer free. <laughs> that that's in Finnish and Swedish me meaning it's sugarless. Anyway. One one win for the Eva and let's see if we can get any other ones. Let me quickly whip out the Eva build while we're at it. People always ask the builds if I try something new. And you know, I guess people ask all of the builds, but especially if I try something that I'm not using in every single video and battle. So here's what we're running on the EVA today. <laughs> a little bit embarrassing. Wait. Okay. Let me put that so that we're not... Uh... Let's do the split screen. Huh? Why is it not working? Plarium is bugging out. Can you see the white line jumping up there? This should let me move it around, um, split the screen for two, but it, for some reason it's not working. Hmm. Not sure if that's RAID or Windows. Okay, we got it. Where is it? Huh? Did I close it? <laughs> Damn, I'm... I'm messing it up. Give me a second. Okay, let's peek first. Okay, it's the same thing, but this time he has both Armands and Eva. And I don't think we... I mean, Armands and Yumeko. I don't think we can pull out the Eva against this because we're getting locked out. So I probably have to go with Rodos. I hope he doesn't be Grotos or UDK now, because he might know that I have to do it. Should we go with Necret again? Okay, let's go with Necret and Mord. Maybe I should pick either Necret or Mord and then a Dotsus. Maybe I should try that next time. Dastus is very tanky, often when I fight these Marius teams, even though he's insanely powerful. But if the other nuker is somebody like Harima, a defensive one, they will kind of lack the damage if I'm running my Dastus. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, I guess we'll go with Rados. I mean, actually, this is not bad at all. Even though we are getting locked out, but he doesn't have Harima or UDK, which is kind of rare for a battle that I get. 
So Rotos can do... He's getting locked out, but he can do his damage when he gets a 10. Okay, so I I screwed up the last one, so I, I don't have time to show it fully. But here's the build that we're running, as you can see. Kind of cute build, not perfect. There's some imperfect items, like the whip. The chest doesn't have speed stat, and the weapon doesn't have crit damage. Outside of that, pretty good gear. The issue is that we, you know... Wanted to like the limitation for for not having perfect gear is that we wanted to get the four piece stone skin, and I'm running HP ring, and I had to kind of um, build it around that. If I don't steal any pieces, I will probably think about the build later on. But I just kind of wanted to wanted to see if there's even like am I even gonna use the Eva if it's built, but. On the first battle, it was actually kind of powerful. Oh fuck, my camera is way too big. My bad. <laughs> this is why I usually run the green screen. Maybe this is fine. By the way, let me know if you prefer the green screen or the actual camera. Maybe, maybe I should do it so that I'm using green screen on... Like... Videos and maybe camera, uh, maybe like the live footage on li live stream or something like that. I kind of want to mix it up because I like both of them. I mean, it's not a big deal <laughs> in either way, but let me know what you prefer. Yeah, I, I can't wait to get Marius. Marius is so OP. <laughs> it's actually, you know, people always complain that Plarium doesn't give us good things, and I do too. Like, but there's some things that they give us, like Ramantu was really good. Now he's great again because of Theox, but before we got the Polymorph, he was OP. Like, maybe even more, not even maybe, he was more OP before Polymorph than Marius is right now. That's OP. That's how OP he was. But the meta shifts and they implement new things and like new mechanics, new champions, and so on. So OP things sometimes go out of season. But for a free champion, it's shocking that Marius is so so strong. Damn. If I got extra 10 there, we I think we would have won it actually, but I think we, lo we lost now. We, we can't take a turn from Leorius, there's no way. Yeah, I probably should have picked Dutchess and then either Necrot or Mord and I would have been a little bit more tanky in this battle. Not, not only, you know, my Dutchess is very tanky and has 6 star Polymorph and he's in Bolster, but we would also get the Dutchess passive, which is not very good in general these days, honestly. But in this specific battle it would have been great, so it was a mistake not picking Dutchess. I wonder if you can hear the camera fan on the video. I'm pretty sure you can't, but maybe sometimes when I'm speaking, maybe you can slightly hear it. If you can, then my bad. I, I will adjust it for the next video, but this is kind of test run. The, the camera fan, honestly, is almost a little bit too powerful. It shows you that temperature of the camera and you know there's like a button to turn it on and off but there's not options to adjust the fan speed and the fan speed is insanely high like it, it like when i put it in my camera and my camera is like 35 degrees or whatever <laughs> it goes to zero in like a couple minutes that, that's how fast the fan is spinning and I, I can hear it but probably you can't hear it on video
by the way, I'm super happy that the fusion ended. Now I have kind of time to chill. But honestly, I pretty much regret going for the fusion. I wasted my sa sacred shards for this and there's no way I'm ever gonna use this champion. Like the only use for it would be if I get a dupe and fill up my faction guardians. But the chances for that are slim and I probably would have been better off just saving the shards that I was forced to pull during events and you know just keeping it. I'll, I'll probably start doing that a lot more in the future. That unless the fusion is very strong or I think I'm gonna use it even if it's not like meta breaking I'm just gonna skip them. It's not really something that I was doing before. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I was kind of torn between the Duchess and Necrot again, but let's just go with this. I might go with the Rooster in this battle, so if I do, then it would be good to have Necrot. I be, you know, I've been using a lot of Rotos and Rotos, or I guess kind of if you have champions in stone skin, apart from Marius and maybe Mezzomel and a few exceptions, you're kind of safe to get the first turn, generally, though those champions are very common. But if you don't have that, then you either go first and that's pretty much it. Necrot used to be very guaranteed way to get the turn. It really isn't these days, but if they pick the right champions, it, it can be. But against Wukong, for instance, you know, he does the polymorph. It's not gonna not gonna work against him. And right now, I'm fuck. Let's go with Eva. I'm forced to ban the Armands, of course, and he's probably gonna ban one of my nukers, most likely Narses. And that means that I only have, yeah, that means that I only have one nuker against him and he's gonna polymorph that, so it's kind of putting me in kind of bad position. Here it would have been better if I had like a CC champion in, instead of Necrot, but my CC champion is Armans. I don't have Grixia or Galatir or Gomidus or whoever, so I can't really do anything about this situation. If I had the first pick here, this battle would have gone much better, but now it's kind of, um, we're kind of screwed. I don't think we can really, like we're gonna get polymorphed and we're gonna lose the protection and we're not gonna get a turn at the start, so. The Mikage buff strip or stun is not that big issue with Necrot and Mod actually, and not even the ally attack, but the Wukong A2 is just gonna... it's bad. Okay, at least we can buff strip the attack buff, but I mean, it's not gonna kill us, it's gonna polymorph us, so... I hope the sheep might go before Necrot. Okay, great, great. Mm, maybe, maybe we can get the turn. No, now we're just gonna get stunned. Maybe if Mord goes before Necrot. And both... Mm, ah, fuck. <laughs> and both of them go... Okay, yeah, now it's bad. Necrot took a turn and we can't get the protection up on the reviver before he snookers. And now if we revive... Eva and like now both of his nukers would go before Eva so there's no way we can we can we can use it we need to save it now everybody is in polymorph let's um who do I want to do let's do it on the UD oh yeah <laughs> he had the UDK past it anyway what, what am I thinking UDK has six star polymorph though
Okay, now I think... No, Mika K is just gonna stun us. And Eva is gonna go before Maud, so... We can get a turn. Oh, okay, he's using the A1 kind of... He doesn't even want to switch the form because he's using... Using the... Um, Harima. And we, we can't really go... Wait. Oh fuck, that's wrong skill, fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say I could... Could uh, block revive the Wukong, but... Not if I do that. No. Fuck. Okay, now, I, now I'm just trolling. The, in my defense, the A3 look like the A, A2 from the icon, and I haven't used Eva, you know, a lot. So I, I totally, you know, I thought it was the other skill. <laughs> it's been a while since I used Eva the last time. Okay, now I think... Um, if I revive the Eva with Mord... Oh, okay, it died, never mind. I was gonna say that the Wukong is barely gonna go before Eva and it's not gonna work out. Yeah, the, the issue here is that he got the first pick. He, if he didn't, I would have been totally fine, but... There... <laughs> without a different nuker, or like... Really, I, I needed like either to have like Sifi and go first, or have Lockout or something. But there was not really much I can do at that point with the champions that I have. I knew instantly that he's gonna ban one of my nukers and pull him off the other one. And if I pick Rotos, who Wukong could weak it against, he had the UDK, so... And I think Wukong is gonna end it with the next A2 anyway. I could have blocked revive it if I didn't mess that up. We, we would have won even in that in that situation, by the way. Even though it looks kind of horrible and it was horrible, but that would have been enough to win. Damn, the Provoke is actually kind of bad for us because we don't have the Narsus. Mm. And I think now, if we revive the Eva, I think the Mikage is still gonna take another turn before. Frostbite is doing a lot of work though. <laughs> Frostbite is carrying me in this. Wait, wait, can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, now I can use the right skill. It's the A2. I think... I don't know if we even want to go for the... We probably should go for the Harima, honestly. Let's go for the Harima. Oh no, it wasn't enough damage. Not without Adakma. Fuck. Okay, well, I guess we... <laughs> we deserve to lose this one. To be fair, it was without Adak buff, but... I thought that would have been enough. Even with the one hit. Double hit, for sure. But okay, we lost. We'll, we'll give, give that one up. It was a learning experience. And honestly, I think it was so close. <laughs> if I just had attack ring on my Eva, it definitely would have been enough. But we we don't. Also, I I need to ask Ken the banner to. It's gonna give us a little bit more attack. Let's let's, let's run some other um, bills. Meanwhile, on the video, maybe I need to theorycraft for the next session and. Maybe slightly upgrade the Eva build because I kind of half heartedly put her in that, but I'm sure I can actually put a better build. I kind of wanted to see if I ever actually find situations where I'm gonna use her, but it seems like I will, so.
Okay, Marit's got team. I might... Yeah, I think I will probably just go with Rados here. Even if he picks like Harima and, and not Nuker, I think I probably want to go with Rados. Like, what is this Nuker going to be? Probably like... Dude, should I, should I save the Nuker as the last one? Because maybe we can go with Eva and Bandit Grixia. Very unlikely, but... Let's let's see if we can go for it. Do I want to pick Maud or Dotsis? Let's go with Dotsis and Wukong. Since I have the... Armands... When I do have it, I don't really like to go with double reviver. No, not every time, at least. If I don't get it, I pretty much always go with at least two. But now we could have some CC. Okay, so... He does have the Harima. We would have to ban the... Grixia, of course. But should I go with Harima? We, we definitely can... Block revive the Ronda from the get-go. And maybe we can do that later to Harima. We don't have the Necret, but we do have the Stone Skin on Eva, and we do have the at least one Polymorph. I mean, he's most likely gonna ban Armands, so we're still gonna have Wugong. And we have slightly better speed aura, so I'm assuming that I'm I'm gonna go first. Well, not, not before the Sifi, but I'm not everybody on... I don't think his Nukers are going to go before my Wukong. Let's put it that way. Okay, so... Hmm. He has protected defense buff on both of them. I think we open with the Polymorph on Harima. Damn, the, the lockout is kind of annoying because we don't get attack buff. And yeah, the Harima is gonna get out of the sleep, so... <sighs> well, surely I have enough damage. I mean, he doesn't have UDK, so... Surely we can just block, revi block, rev block revive the Harima and call it a day. Okay. One hit without attack buff. That's clean. And I, I guess we can weak hit on the Ronda, but I'm not, you know, I'm not that afraid of the Ronda, honestly. He doesn't, I mean, he can kill, I guess, the, the Nuker. <laughs> One of the Nukers. He, can, he can't, he didn't even break the shield on Narthus, but he doesn't have attack buff. I mean, the only attack buff that he can do is from the Sifi Revive. And I don't think, I don't think that's going to be in the play too often. My Duchess is very tanky. I don't think this... Uh, Ronda can kill my Dutchess very easily. Plus, like, you know, it's not one-shotting the Narsus with the Nuke, so I can probably kill it a few times with Narsus and kind of bu buy time for the Eva. Like the last opponent did against me with the Polymorphs and banning the other Nuker. We're basically doing the same thing in this battle. But yeah, uh, if, if you saw, saw my original Eva videos, I did I did say back then... Was it the same guy or a different person? Oh no, it's a different person. I did say on my original Eva video that it seems good, it's more suited for speed teams than go second teams, like Mesomel. But if I get 4P stone skin or when I get it, then I'm gonna run it. And I literally got that that HP ring that I'm using, not not even like other ring, but the HP ring that I'm using, I literally got it like last week, and I was using it um, last week on Aphidos. So 
it, it made sense that we're gonna go with Eva now. But somebody, at least two people, pointed it out on comments that I should go with Eva if I'm not gonna go with Aphidos. And seems like it's gonna be a little useful. And we're not gonna be super heavily reliant on attack nukers anyway. I mean, I'm gonna get the Marius in like maybe two days. We'll have that Rotos, who is kind of 50 50. Narases, Galleus. We're not really using attack nukers, which, which is kind of good in the current meta. Attack nukers get screwed in many ways, like the um, passive from Taras and they are less tanky and so on, so I don't mind running other nukers. Okay, this is definitely the same guy though. I think this time we go with Ankara. Uh, Necret or Wukong? I guess we'll go with Necret again, yeah. He's not really going with the speed team. He doesn't have double lockout unless he picks Lazarus now. So the Wukong is very useful here. Okay, we're we're doing the same matchup again. I don't think I should I change anything. I don't think I need to. No. We'll just go with the Eva. I mean, I could run Gallows, but he does have a Zone Polymorph and. I think the Eva might actually be the safer option here. Maybe maybe he's gonna... No, okay. I was gonna say that maybe he's gonna ban something different, but nah. We're running the exact same battle and... Maybe I missed something, but I don't think the last battle was close. I think we're guaranteed to win this one. Maybe not. Also, I think I fixed out, if you guys saw me complaining that my camera keeps disconnecting, it hasn't done it today, and I was actually, you know, like I said, I changed the camera settings and I was playing around with it a lot. I think um, a simple BIOS update was enough to do it. That That's what I did, and didn't get it today, and I don't think, uh, hopefully we're not getting it again. <laughs> BIOS update is always a little bit scary to do, but honestly, there's not really that much to be afraid of these days. Okay, so Ronda block revived the Wukong with the A2, meaning that it's not gonna come back unless we revive it, but the passive is gonna work again normally after we do that, so we'll just go for it. And <laughs> I guess we're running like a full block revive team that we got both Narcissus and Eva. And uh, now we're gonna block revive the Ronda, since she had multiple buffs. This is kind of fun, and this is kind of actually like a measure against Harima. I mean, we can kill the Harima. I don't, but well, I don't think we can kill it now, not without attack buff and not with full health and strength. But we, we're, we'll do it anyway because we'll kill it the next turn probably with the A3. And we might reset the cooldowns. And we have two nukers, so it's it's fine. We don't need to save it. But this kind of actually almost works against Harima teams. Not not like guaranteed easy one shot, but it's it's kind of uh, doable. Initve couldn't even crit on Harima because of her passive. Demon spawn can't crit on her. If he could, he could Maybe do it sometimes, but Eva does way more damage than Initve. By by way more, I mean like many, many, many times more. Maybe like, I don't know, like it depends on the circumstances, like how lo low health the enemy is, but like multiple times, like, I don't know, more than three times more damage. It's not even close. Unless the enemy is like 1% HP when you do the A2, but at that point you would kill it anyway, so... Okay, so we're 3-2, and I feel like the one battle I kind of messed it up, and it was actually 
a layup and I just I I trolled myself. So in in spirit we are three three wins and one loss today. I don't know if anybody well actually I do know that some people follow it because I sometimes talk about it. But if you follow um UFC or MMA, there's this guy called San O'Malley. Some people like him, some people don't. I'm not like I'm not a hater or like a hardcore fan or anything like that. Though I think his fights are very visually um like interesting and beautiful to watch. But He's kind of doing this thing that every time he he gets a loss, he just he denies the loss and keeps saying that he has never lost. I I think he has two losses at this point, and he keeps saying that he has never had a loss in battle, and it's a little bit cringe. But honestly, I kind of like it. He he's kind kind of doing that kind of you know mental <laughs> mental warfare against himself and keeps saying that he has never lost a battle. <laughs> And I guess that keeps his confidence very high, so maybe we should do the same thing. It's a little bit cringe to do it, but the way that he's doing it, it almost seems like um, I don't hate it. Let's put it that way. Okay, this guy is not letting me have the... Narcissist? Maybe we can surprise him with with the Eva pick, but it depends what he whips out. But we, we'll have to we'll have to open with the Rotos and UDK. I definitely want to get them. If he were to pick either one of those now, we would be in, you know, there wouldn't be many champions that we could pick in this battle. Okay, damn. He went with three nukers. We really, we, if I ban the Narsus, uh, I mean, I want to ban the Narsus. If I pick Duchess, I have to do it. If I if I pick Duchess now and be, he picks Lockout, I'm basically screwed. So I, I don't think I can go with Duchess or Necret. Both of them are in Bolster and Narsus would get the double hit with his A2. So I, I think we have to go with Maud. I mean, he's good against the... Uh, Marius anyway, but do we want to go with Eva or not? Hmm. It's gonna bust trip us with Marius and we don't have Necret, so I'm not super confident about Eva in this battle, but do we have any other choice? Let's go with that. But he has three nukers, I don't think Eva really makes too much sense here. I, I hope he doesn't lock out, but I'm sure he does. If he doesn't have lockout, maybe I should actually go with the Mario span. Okay, of, of course he does. Hmm. What now? Yeah, well, we, we have to go for the Yumako. We don't even have any good auras that we can pick. Maybe Rodos can um, get some extra turns. He can't really do damage because of Harima passive, but if he gets, you know, a couple extra turns, maybe we can do it. Maybe, okay. <laughs> maybe we don't lose the... Um, the stone skin on Eva, but of course we did. I mean it's much more likely than not that, that it would happen. And we also lost it on Rotos. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, nice, we actually went before Narsus. I thought we wouldn't. Now we can actually do some things. If we proc passive now, we will instantly kill Ankara. But if we don't, we're screwed. But I think we'll... Because I want to use the A2 on Narsus. But I think we'll take the risk and hope that we proc it. Okay, we, we got the Helm Smasher, I think. With the defense buff, I don't think we would have done that much without the proc. I think we won the battle now. Yeah. We re reduced the Narsus a lot of... We reduced the Narsus damage a lot with the A2, so... At this point, I think we might be good. Okay, we're... We're definitely good. I think if my Rotos didn't go 
Oh, and we can... I think we can just block revive the Harima through the sheep. Yeah, because as you know, I mean, it. when I used to do the init where often, often stacked the King Classic Arena, if anybody re remembers that one, where we, we were basically opening with Polymorph and Taras, and then we were hitting Taras with the init A2, and we were like killing the sheep and then killing Taras like through it. The same thing, of course, works for all of the other multi hits. But I, I think if Rotos didn't go before Narsus, we might have lost that one. But since he did go, it wasn't even close. And his Narsus was fast. His Narsus might be a little bit faster than mine, honestly, because my my Rotos is very fast. And he barely... I barely was fast. Yeah, <laughs> my Rotos is two, 269 speed. Nice. Arbiter and Warlord, when people pick that, it's usually some kind of speed team. Maybe he's going to pick like some combination of Marius and Lazarus and Georgid, Ronda. That's the type of nukers that you usually pick with this team. So with that in mind, I just... We're still going to do the same old, same old. We definitely want to go with Angora here instead of the other revivers. Maybe he doesn't even... Maybe the Polymorph is not even going to be that needed here. Kind of depends on the nukers. But there's no way that we're going to like revive somebody and get a turn with them against the speed team. Unless it's at least Angora with the 75% or full turn meter revive. Also, in this battle, I can already tell that we're not going to be able to ban the Warlord. The Carnage is going to lock us out and we can't cleanse it or do anything about that, so we have to ban it. So we're going to be battling against the Lockout, but I don't think it's going to be that bad with Angora and Rotos. Probably, should I go with Necret? Yeah, we're going to get locked out anyway, so... Necret might be more useful here than another nuker. Maybe I could have gone with Mikageto. Oh fuck, bombs. Well, Necret is better than... than Mikage. But can I survive the bombs? Let me think about this. So, if I ban the Aphidus, I think the bombs are gonna destroy me. He's gonna ban the Necret and he's gonna go before my... <sighs> fuck. I have to ban the Gaius. I, I don't know if we can win this one. Gaius would definitely kill me if I didn't ban it. And we're gonna get locked out. We can't remove that with cleanse or masteries or anything like that. We're not gonna take any turns for the first three minutes of the battle. So I don't know if we can do anything about this. I guess we... I mean, Garnet is kind of killable just with the A1s, to be fair, so maybe we can do it. He only has Arbiter Revive and not Sifi, and Arbiter Revive is not full turn meter, so maybe we can buy time. Okay, I, I think we were fine, I was kind of panicking a little bit, but I think we're good. Karnit is insanely strong against me, I don't really... Oh, what? Rotos resisted? I didn't even notice that. I don't do well against Garnets. I usually lose to it. To be honest, but I guess this time it's okay. I don't know what's up with the Kimi pick. I, I don't know if this guy has Sifi or not, but I think Sifi would have been way better in, in this team than Kimi. And maybe even more better would have been like, instead of Arbiter and Kimi, Shu Chen and Sifi. That, that would be the way to go in a team like that these days.
I'm running the Hell Hades optimizer, seeing if there's some better variations of the Eva build that we can do. I don't think we necessarily need that build to be insanely fast. I mean, we don't want it to be slow on purpose, but it can. I think it can be 270, it can be 220. We're hoping to get the first turn with the stone skin anyway. Even if we were 270, we wouldn't go before the enemy that often, and we don't really want to go before them if they have stone skin. Since she's not tanky and we're relying on the one shot. Uh, I think we're using Necret a lot, but I think we'll go with the more than Necret. Yeah, let's do that. So she could be a little bit slower than she is right now. Oh, okay, looks like I could upgrade her build pretty substantially if I steal one piece of gear from Helicat, but I don't know if I want to do that. Let's unlock all of my champions and see what we get. <laughs> I know you guys can't see that one, but I need to see what they're picking, so I'll show you if I finalize the build, but I'm just running the optimizer on the second screen and trying different options. Yeah, if if I run the best build I can, it's pretty much stealing all of my Rotos gear except the gloves. And that that's with Rotos having multiple bees. Ah oh, fuck. Emma? No. Fuck. Okay, colors. That's with Rotos having multiple bees as with HP Ascension. And that gear still would be better than my other options. My Rotos is super stacked. I think Carlos actually might be fine. The, the biggest issue here is that he has two different champions with immunity buff. But probably Carlos was better pick here than Eva. We might weak hit on Lazarus too, so and get the enfeeble. There's so many different things that can go wrong. Plus, you know the Lazarus can weak hit on Galleus. I wonder if we're ever gonna get the nuker that gets resistance from like attack or crit damage or something. That could be kind of interesting if you could reliably resist something like Marius for instance. It might sound a little bit dumb and weird for Nuker, but I think that could actually make sense. Maybe not in classic arena, but in live arena. I, I guess it depends how busted the champion is. I mean, maybe it could be even in Classic arena if it's super OP one, like it depends kind of on the kit as a wall. Who has polymorph? Okay, Lazarus doesn't. Everybody else does. Okay, so we we need to pray now. What should I actually do with do the A two? Should I actually go for the A two? Let's go with the A2 and not switch the form instantly. Okay, yeah, it was still enough damage to kill the Lazarus. Yeah, but like, if I sw Okay. <laughs> I was panicking so hard there. If I switch the form, I would have risked getting enfeebled. And maybe, probably I would have lost if I got enfeebled. Both of my nukers could have gotten en enfeebled, so... Yeah, it, it made sense to open with the A2. We buffed the team with the mod anyway, so... We were actually able to do a little bit of damage with that. I keep shielding for Maud, but Maud is insanely, insanely good, and everybody who keeps telling me that Maud is crap, 
they are wrong and you're not gonna change my mind about it. <laughs> Feel free to debate me in comments about it. Mord is actually great. Not, not good, she's one of the best champions. When I make the next liver in a tier list, I'm sure she's gonna be high up and it's gonna trigger a lot of people, but that's definitely gonna happen. Feel free to tag me, tag me in official Discord and tell me why I'm wrong about mod. I I will I will die on that hill debating it. I'm getting bombs are becoming much more popular recently. I don't know if that's because I keep saying in my videos that I can't beat bomb teams, <laughs> but everybody keeps picking those goddamn bombers against me. Damn. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we'll go with Rodos here. Maybe Rodos is fine. Well, it's not fine, but he's in Polymorph at least, so. Maybe we're good, and maybe um, maybe we get weakies or... Oh, he's going with double bomber, what? Oh? Um, I was expecting to, like, have charged. I think we'll go for the Gaius ban. But, you know, I actually recently did something about this because bombs have beco become such a massive issue for me in Live Arena. Duchess is not in 4P stone skin anymore. We didn't really make the build really better at all. We pretty much have the same stats, even though we're not in the 4P stone skin. So that gear kind of was slightly better, honestly. But now she doesn't take the extra damage from bombs. And she, I think she's in two piece Regen now, so she's gonna heal up a little bit more too. I mean, she's both in Bolster and Regen, so she does heal a good amount of um, health, co considering that she's like 160k health and you know very high HP. But okay, we got the Polymorph. I don't think nobody is even, I don't think even Narcissus is going to die to the bombs because of the bolster, so I, I think we're good. I think we go for the Arbiter kill, but she's of course going to get revived. But if we were to kill anybody else, or if we were going to hit anybody else, they wouldn't have died. I guess we're having a pretty good session today, but to be fair, we're not meeting like 20k point opponents. I think we met a couple like 15, 15k opponents the last video. I think multiple mad players and so on, and we were kind of going 50-50, but we're definitely getting more than 50-50 today. <laughs> I guess I'm fighting enemies on my own incredibly low level. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Could have been close to dying without the ball of stern, but probably we would have still edged it out. But if you had a little bit less health and li little bit less health and not ball of stern, I think probably a lot of narcissists would have died to those bombs.
Like, even if you had the shield, if it was like really low health Narsus, like maybe like 90k health, maybe it could have died, unless you have a, unless you have 60, 160k HP Duchess, or the other way around, that you had high HP but no bolster, it probably could have died. Wait, what? What? We're getting like a win streak here. It's five wins. That's almost good. Wait, not six wins. Never mind. Six wins in a row. We're kind of doing good. And I trolled the one battle at the start, so we'll ca we'll call it a seven seven battle win streak. Yeah, <laughs> seven battle win streak. I'm just gonna keep denying the one loss that didn't happen. If I make a mistake, it doesn't count. It only counts if they have better account and they win because of that. <laughs> That's probably very, very stupid logic, but we'll go with that. Okay, that's definitely a new Wukong when it's paired with Mikage. Honestly, maybe maybe we're gonna get another another Eva battle. I could go like UDK and maybe like a sneaky Eva at the end. Like maybe I go with UDK and he picks the Rotos. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let's save the Nuker as the last one though. That, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with mod. Yeah, definitely. I don't think the dots is... Oh, fuck. That was wrong. <laughs> was gonna be more than not Arbiter, but... Maybe that's not too bad. Yeah, like, the dots is actually not that great against the Wukong. How the A2 works is that the first it is single target anyway. Dots' passive is not really... Gonna be that useful against it because it does so much damage. Because of the weird way that it scales. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I don't think we can go with Eva. We're gonna weak hit on Rotos and we have to go for the arm and span. Yeah, let's go with Rooster. Maybe, like, I was gonna pick Mord for the Mika Gestan, but maybe I'll, I'll go first with the Arbiter. Probably not, but maybe. May maybe my Arbiter is. Okay, no. One could dream, but I, I guess not. Wait, what? Okay, so he opened with the bus trip, which doesn't make sense because we have the Arbiter. We're gonna do 10 meter boost. So we are gonna get a 10 here. On, on Galleus, I suspect, yeah. We can weak hit on Wukong, though. I hope we don't. We kind of want to kill it, but... Oh, not enough damage. It, it did have a very, very big shield. That must be also very tanky dots like mine. Oh, nice. That's perfect. And we have the UDK, so I think, I think we're kind of good. I mean, he's running both Rotos and Wukong against the UDK, which kind of sucks. I mean, I, I've been there. I... Wait. I should do the A1. We can double hit on Rotos. L look at this. We can do double hit. It hits... Places extra hit on all enemies under decreased defense debuffs. We do A1 on Rotos. And then we do a second hit. Okay. We didn't kill it, but we did more than we would have with the A3. What was I saying? Yeah, I I've been there running two single target nukers against UDK or our base. That happens to me all the time. But he does have the buff strip. And it's not like we can kill him that easily with Gallows. So maybe he can do it. I mean, UDK is almost dead already. Uh, 
I don't think we want to use the A for. <laughs> we probably want to save the Trivive for later, but maybe maybe Arbiter is gonna. Oh fuck! Okay. Never mind. Never mind. There goes our win streak. The Wukong got us. God damn. I wish he didn't pick Rodos there, even though we had the UDK, but I knew that Galileo's damage was probably not going to be quite enough to kill it fast. But if I could have gone with Eva here, I'd, I would have done it. And if he picked many other things, I, I would have done it. The Wukong was more scary there than Rotos because of the affinity with UDK. And he had the accuracy buff from Mikage and double buff strip with both Mikage and Wukong who got the accuracy buff. So I was kind of expecting that UDK wouldn't be able to stall as much as normally with the stone skin. I need to also look in the UDK builds. How can I build like 900 accuracy, uh, 900 resistance UDK? How much stats do I lose? lose to it and I'm sure I can't do it with two piece frostbite but could I do it without it damn I'll have to look this after the video but I think we oh fuck of course it's annoying, I don't know why it does it, I don't know if it's the browser or the optimizer, but when you change the tab it always resets the optimizer and I can't show the build. But th this was a quick one to run, sometimes they take many minutes. But if we steal the shield from Helicat and I have to rating his build, we're gonna get a lot of damage, like 500 more attack and 2 crit damage on this build. We're losing 11 speed, but I don't think that really matters on Eva. I mean, She's not insanely fast anyway, and we're hoping to get one turn with the stone skin, and after that she's always gonna get one shot anyway. So I'll change the build after this video. Not running Helicat in every battle, but I do like to run him. Actually, I'm almost... fuck. I'm almost, you know, it's kind of tricky because here he has like one support and one nuker left and he already has one buff stripper. So I don't know if we can use it, maybe after we see his last two picks. But my Helicat is right now not in strong enough build that I can really run him as my only nuker unless they have like, like no revivers or just one with not high healing. And of course we can't run it against Lockout or Rados or Armand, so there's too many factors here that make it impossible. Looks like we have to go with the Gallows again. We're, we are facing the Lockout, so there's not really anything else I can do here. The only champions I have that kind of work against Lockout, not, not well, but can work is Rotos, Narses and Gallows. Gallows because of being a Mythic champion, Rotos because of his extra turns and low cooldowns, and Narses because of Ankara A1. So there was nothing else I would have done when he already picked the Rotos. Anyway, we're doing good. We got one, one loss, it doesn't matter. I'm, Positive vibes today. I'm not even gonna cry about the like the fraudulent copyright claims that I'm getting. Okay, Rodos, do your worst. The, the double bolster used to carry me so hard before Narses and especially before Taras. Th that used to be so fun time. When bolster was in game and Taras was yet not in game, that, that used to carry me. Even regardless of the champions and Necret was kind of good.
good during that time. Not like meta, but kind of almost usable. Sometimes you would see it. And that paired with the double bolster was was making me an actual threat in classic arena defense. I don't I don't think I bought the last two bolster passes that we got and probably I'm not gonna do it again but I kind of got a very good bolster at this point already actually the only piece that I would really want to get is like a better weapon that would be the easiest one to get but I don't think I I don't think I don't think I'm gonna pay 20 bucks just to do it I probably would get it if I craft weapons in one like the entire bolster pass but I don't think it's worth to do it I'll give money to Plarium sometimes, but not like, not willy nilly. I would give, I would give it for guaranteed Harima or something like that. Or, I guess I bought some shards during the last Prism event for Harima and so on. But getting a small upgrade on bolster weapon is not good enough. Probably I would have done it though if, if Bolster was still meta, but it's not. By the way, what do you guys think? Should I use the in-game battle sounds on my videos? If you saw the video this far, let me know in the comments. If if I get more yes than no, like, I mean, probably not many people are gonna respond to a question like one hour into the video. But if I get like two yeses and zero no's, I'll start running the in-game sounds. I have, I don't think I have ever used it, but I can, I do see Biohack is using it and I actually kind of like it on his videos. Even though he has both the in-game sounds and music on the background. But maybe it's okay. Maybe I could do it too. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Help me boost the algorithm and you can also affect my videos. Also let me know if you want the green screen or not. But if if I don't get a lot of... Wait, can we... We can block revive the harm. If I don't get a lot of feedback about that, I think I'm just gonna keep... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start running live stream like this and probably normal videos with the green screen. But I kind of wanted to test out the camera settings today. Camera settings, by the way, make an in... in oh, we're against Timo. They make an insane difference. You, you would be shocked if you're not super familiar with cameras. But even if you have a good camera, the settings, you know, can make the image, like, look so different, you wouldn't believe that it's the same camera. I wonder if Timo is gonna run Rotos against me. I think he usually goes with Rotos and Harim against me. Or one of them and then like Lazarus or something like that. Maybe he'll go with Marius though. I don't think I battled him since... Probably I have, but... I don't think in the battles I've had with him he has been using it. But it would be kind of obvious pick against me and he knows my account. He was one of in one of my videos, if you didn't see, by the way. <laughs> a little bit of flex, but I don't know if Timo has been in any other videos. Maybe he has been with some of the IPR guys, but I'm pretty sure definitely not on any other videos. And I, I haven't seen him in any videos, but he was gracious enough to join a video maybe like a month ago when they had the massive CVC with, uh, not CVC, I mean, what? no, no, yeah, yeah, CVC, CVC with GNL. I, I guess they had, I, th I think they had Clan War 2 against them, but I'm talking about the CVC. 
after that he he and Cruz and were in one of my videos and we were talking about it. Okay, he's letting me have the Rodos and he already big tree support, so I'm kind of liking how this champion pick phase is playing. It almost seems too easy, but what is he gonna pull, like, uh, pull out, like Comidus and Nice or something crazy like that? So far it almost seems too good, honestly. This doesn't seem impossible. Maybe Marius and Comidus? Marius and um, Gismag? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Mesomel is gonna be Isu and we can't ban it. That's, that's gonna be annoying. I think... Should I go with the UDK? I think we need to go with the UDK. I, I think he's... I think he's gonna ban the UDK, honestly. It makes sense here. We can't go with the Helicat because of the... The combination of Armands and Galatir. We do have the mod, so Galatir is def is not by default game over. But the block revive from Mesomel is yeah he went for the Necrot ban. The Mesomel is actually Isu. Isu here, I think he can just one shot anybody. Rotos he could weak it against Rotos, so I think he probably opens it against somebody else. And he's still gonna be very tanky because of double reviver and harima passive and, and you know defense buffs and CC. Maybe if I get lucky with Ankara A ones, maybe I get a counter attack with the uh, A one Brock. Maybe that could do it. I'm running the what was it called? I think deterrence. I'm running the mastery on Ankara, not the one where you oh fuck. I wasn't expecting Rodos to die yet. Not the, not the one where you get... Um, and also this was unlucky. We got the mastery proc on Narses and not on Maud. Otherwise Maud would always go first. But I have the mastery on Ankara. That she counter attacks when somebody gets CC'd or has the chance to. Not the one where she counter attacks if... Um, if she takes damage. So it, it, it could have been possible that she... Could have rocked it at the start before the Narsus ten, but now now it's looking very bad. Yeah, I think he can just kill the Narsus and we're done. And I don't think he even used the block revive yet. Maybe I can cut in with the Narsus now that Harima kills it. Maybe I can cut in and block revive the Mesomel. If that happens, maybe I still have a chance. Come on, please cut in, please cut in, please, please. Uh, and yeah, let's revive Rodos. I don't know if I should have done. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait. I think we won. I think we won. I think we. I don't think we can lose anymore. Yeah, Mesomel is block revived and we're good, we're good. Arima is dead. Everything is nice. <laughs> okay, today was good session. We already had a win streak and now we now we got well okay, let's let's see what happens. Maybe the Harima is still gonna destroy us, but now we're at least putting a little bit pressure on like a big boy account, so we're having pretty pretty fun session today. I don't think he has the multi hit either, so I is Oh, okay, no, okay. I was gonna say that can Rodos survive that one, but I, I guess not. If, if we had the A3 now, we could also block revive the Harima. It's gonna be a close one, because the Harima is of course scary. But I think we're just gonna focus on the Harima, and may, maybe if we can kill it, we can buy a couple tens. Maybe, maybe it's doable. Damn, so much damage. 
And we didn't get the A1 Brock turn. God damn it. I think we did like two or three A1s already on. Uh, I think, should I? I don't know if I should just go for A1 here and not A2. I think we should risk it. Let's go for A1. Oh, we got the Brock. Okay, which one is it? Is it A3? If it's A3, I think we won. I don't think so. I don't think she can cut in. Please. Please. Mm, okay, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. I messed it up a little bit there. I just realized it. I bar stripped the Harima. Uh, with the... Mod, so we can't... We can't block revive it, but I think we're good. I think we're good. We kind of bought a little bit time there, though. But I actually made a little bit mistake there. Wish I could heal Rotos a little bit before <laughs> Harima gets turned, but it again it does, yeah. It one shots us. Ah oh, fuck, I wish Harima would have died today one. Oh my god, are we still gonna lose? Dude, it's so close. Dude, we're gonna lose it. No. Ah, come on. I I, I think she only has A1 now. Right? If she does no, I think she has the triple. No, okay, nice. Only has A1. I don't think she could have killed Rars. <laughs> Dude, this is this is like the this is like the finals of like worlds or something like that. <laughs> I'm super invested in this one battle, but I am. Okay, now we got another live harvest proc on Harima. And it's getting to the territory where, you know, she's gonna die to A1 even if she gets gets revived. And we're kind of sustaining ourselves a little bit with the uh, mod A A2 and passive. Even though the fight kind of lasted a good while at this point. Do I want to use the AoE or the A3? I don't think either one is gonna kill it. Should I just do A1? Let's do A1. We might... Ah, we might put the skills on cool. Actually, I think the A1 did more damage than I thought. I guess the kill streak procs were kind of kicking in. I, okay, I could have probably killed it with the A3. Boom! It's a win! I don't, I don't know, like... Is Timo account even one of the best accounts? I feel like... I think it is, but I'm not even sure. I mean, he's not that high points as some other people. I mean, he's not like running full plus four primals. I mean, he does have 92 million player power and eight trophies, but... I don't know if it's like one of the... Like... I'm, I'm sure it's, there is harder, harder live arena enemies than him. But yeah, wait, wait, that account is only... <laughs> Dude, my account is like three years older than Timo's account. And, and even if I play this game for like 100 years, <laughs> my account will not be half as good as his account. Holy moly. <laughs> Dude, that's that's so funny to think about that. His account is only a couple years old, like three years old. What? Goddamn whales. N not nothing against Timo, but goddamn wells. Okay, we we got kind of unlucky there. Only only seal set. We don't really care about it. Even if I got a garly two piece uh, seal set, I don't know if I would even use it. Or maybe for like, um, maybe for Hydra, but not for PvP. I would really like to get good impulse pieces. Both, like, anything goes. Nougar pieces, tank pieces, speed pieces. Everything could be usable because the set is that good. But so far, I haven't had a lot of luck on it. I have, like, one... One Hail Met that is kind of good. It's... Triple HP. And it has defense and speed. Yeah, obviously triple speed, probably. Do we... should I do it? Triple speed would be more prefer, preferable. If we get two, double on speed, I'm gonna upgrade it to maximum. Okay, no. We, we have a lot of 5-star chaos or anyway, so you should always do it. But Yeah, the, that piece is kind of good. I, actually, I can show it to you. But it's not really what you... I think this one will actually keep. That's kind of good. I, I think I... 
I wanted to get actually a good speed boot on Immortal set. It's not that meta anymore, but I will definitely have some use for that. But what you would really want, of course, on Impulse set is triple or quad speed, or maybe penta speed. Oh, okay, damn. That actually rolled really good. This might actually get some play on... Um, this might actually get some play on my arena champions, now that it rolled so well. Okay, actually I'm gonna roll this to maximum. <laughs> we only have 5 million silver, but who cares. Give me accuracy, I want accuracy here. It, it might be a mod piece. Okay, attack. It's still good, I think I wanna... Uh, oh fuck, the camera died. <laughs> I think I want to reroll this and get speed, not HP ascension, but speed, and we'll make it a very fast piece, but it has triple roll on HP and flat HP, so it's actually very good. And of course, every time the camera dies, again, it's not the camera, the camera works, but it's like the connection with the camera and OBS, but every time that happens, the <laughs> it has to be in the worst possible angle, of course. Give me a sec. Like, I, I can... In real life, I can see that the camera is running, because there, there's like a screen on it, that you can like flip it around, so that you can see it, and if it's pointing at you, I can definitely see that the camera is working, and it never, um, it never freezes, it's some, some kind of software side issue. And... I've spoken about this several times because it keeps happening and every time I panic and speak about it. But um, if I close, like, if I just open a normal ca camera app on my computer right now without doing anything, it will work in that. It just stops working in OBS, which is the recording software for YouTube videos and streaming, but it doesn't actually stop working. But, but now that I disconnected it and reconnected it, I think it should work again. Yeah, very, very good. Again, anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. I thought that I fixed it with the BIOS update, but I guess that wasn't good enough. Okay, we're against Husky. I would kind of want to see Husky streams, but he streams on some kind of Russian tweets and <laughs> I, I can't find it. But he plays very actively. I have fought against him many, many times. I think we have to go for the Australid ban in this battle, but we're just... It doesn't actually look that bad. We're just gonna go with Rotos and UDK. I have to go with UDK because he can pick it. I mean, he has R base. Do I even want to go with that? Fuck that. Let's go with Rotos and Wukong. What I re actually should we go with Drotos and Mord? Let's go with Drotos and Mord. Maybe that's the big brain there. But does Mord have enough accuracy to brush dip his R base? Well, let's let's find out. Probably not, but may maybe it does. Oh, Comidus, Comidus, interesting. So he's going with double bomber, triple nuker. I don't even know who I want to ban anymore. Do I want to ban the Sifi? I think I want to ban the Sifi. So both of my revivers are in stone skin. Fuck. This is okay, let's go for the asteroid ban. I, I'm I'm screwed. Comidus is kind of becoming very popular in in the meta. Oh he didn't even ban my Armands. Okay. That was a mistake. I should have banned Sifi. If if I banned it I'm sure I would have won. I guess he didn't know that both my uncle and Mord are in stone skin, but they are, so I kind of... What? He has both Comidus and Taras in pinpoint. <laughs> I guess, you know, Comidus and Gizmark usually are in pin... Oh, nice, we got in. 
usually are in pinpoint, but not Taras. I think that might be the first Taras that I see in pinpoint. I guess he has enough damage, so it makes sense, but it's still a little bit weird. What do I even want to do here? So I guess I can't polymorph the Comidus. I guess we'll... Uh, which one? Sifi or... No, let's go for the... Okay, yeah. Let's go for the polymorph on the... Um, what's it called? Tuhanarak. And then we got both of the pinpoint sets removed. So now next time we could maybe see, see that. Comidos, if we can survive long enough. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think he's just gonna kill my Rotos before he gets a turn. Yeah, let's... Mm, yeah, I don't I don't have damage to kill it. Yeah, I, I think we lost it. Yeah. He's running two, two HP Nukers and he didn't have strength and or shield, so there's no way I would have had enough damage to kill them. He did ban the mord though, so he was giving respect to it even though usually people don't. Okay. We lost though, I mean I have I have beaten him several times, but usually, obviously, I lose to him, so happens. Maybe I should have actually gone for the Sifi ban. I I'm kind of shocked that he went for the mod ban, even though it does make sense, but people keep disrespecting and underestimating mod, and Armand is super OP, so I I feel like he almost took a risk for like the memes and to like outplay me. And I, I should have just gone for the Sifi ban and I think I would have won it if I did it. But it's not that big deal and I I, I don't hate <laughs> I, I don't hate um um, Husky. Yeah, Husky. <laughs> Almost forgot his name for a second. Husky is a very nice guy, so... And we had a very good session, so I can't complain. Also, this video is probably going to be out in two days and not tomorrow. Right now it's kind of late when I'm recording it, but I don't think it's going to be... Maybe it will be up tomorrow, but probably the next day. Um, tomorrow we have the Hydra reset, so I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna get the normal Hydra chest and then I'm instantly gonna run it too to get the 1.2 billion like keys chests and hopefully I get a ring for skinwalkers I need attack ring there and defense ring like no no not attack ring I need defense ring there and then I need attack ring for uh, Eva yeah and you know Ideally, like, ring or banner for Marius too. Um, Narciss, I mean. So basically all of my Nougars, except, except Rodo still need a stone skin piece. What do we want to do here? He has the last pick. And he could be Clockout. I, I'm kind of tempted going Eva here, honestly, but... I don't know if it's a good idea since he has that. Okay, let's... We're kind of trolling here, but let's keep... No, well, not, not trolling, but we're experimenting. Let's see what he does. But if he's smart, he picks Lockout. Uh, okay, interesting. I can ban one of his nukers, but now I can. Now I can. So I think I'm gonna go for the nice ban. He went with triple nuker though, which is kind of smart in a sense since I'm using a block revive. But I think the lockout would have been worse because I really wanted to ban the noise. I wouldn't be able to one-shot it through UDK, I don't think. And um, 
if he picked a lockout, I would have had to ban it. I was already committed to the Eva pick and he was gonna go first. So there was no other option. But now, maybe I can win. If, if I can get a turn on Eva, I'm obviously gonna block revive one of his nukers instantly. And if we still have some life left in the team, I think we'll get it. Okay, so we don't have immunity. We st we do still have the ally protection, and the Marius can ignore the shields if he wants to, if he uses the right skill. I don't know if we can. Okay, I don't know if we can survive it or not, but I, I guess we can. Uh should I even? Um, so I could do a two here and buff strip them, but maybe I should actually go a one. And make sure that I one shot the Marius. But I, I would one shot it. I'm, I'm being maybe a little bit um, silly here because. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? Narcissus did more damage than I thought it was gonna do. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what? That was too easy. I was thinking, like, he doesn't have Harima passive, so it's not like I needed attack buff. Like, with attack buff, one hit out of those two Eva hits would have done 200k. It would be 400k plus in total, so. There's no way I needed attack buff. I'm just so used to fighting against Harima in every battle that I was kind of overthinking it. I should have just done the bar strip and heal. Damn, our, our battle lock is looking excellent today. <laughs> I hope we can keep this up, but honestly, we probably can even do better after we get Marius, so looks good. Last video, I used Eva, but well, I was planning to use it, but I didn't really end up using it a lot because I just didn't find the right matchups and I didn't put it on thumbnail because I know people would have cried about it. But today, Eva is definitely getting the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I have too much to say. I'll look at the Eva build kind of like I said earlier on the video. I'm actually gonna upgrade her gear now. We don't have any other any other attack nuker that needs it anyway, apart from Rotos, and we're not gonna touch his gear. So I think Eva can Eva can take our best gear. Fuck! Now if I switch the tap, it's gonna reset the stupid uh, stupid tap. Give me, give me a sec. Can we do it this way? I, I have to run it again. I don't know why it does it. I'm I'm not sure if it's just the way the browser works, or is it the... Oh fuck, it doesn't work this way too. Or if it's the fault of the optimizer. Okay. Scratch that, let's just go do the in-game menu. I'm, I'm not gonna show you the build that we're gonna switch to because of that. <laughs> because of it's passing out, but I'm just gonna switch the gear while we're at it. And I'll calculate in a second what build I go on uh, on Helicat, but we took his shield, so we'll have to do something about it. Okay, so we got like almost 300 more attack, and we lose like 13 speed, and we get 2 crit damage. Some people might think that this is not even worth it. I think it's kind of, you know, both ways go. But there was those couple battles where it was like super close if we can oh fuck the camera died again okay doesn't matter at this point but there was those couple battles where it was super close it was like literally like 1000 health away and we didn't one shot the harima so i think i probably want to go with this and we're not fa super fast anyway i don't think being 240 or 228 i don't think either one really i i don't think that's a big difference it is some difference if we were like super fast like if it was the difference between 300 and 313 that would be a huge deal but we're not fast anyway so i think we can just go with this oh fuck it keeps it keeps putting it, it tries to scam you out of the gear removal tokens i, I hate it anyway that's it have a nice day, any questions and comments put them down below, help me promote my videos and so on. 
so that I can get more advertisements and make money and <laughs> and enjoy raid, maybe bu maybe buy more shards. If you if you give me a lot of comments in videos, maybe maybe I will buy more sh buy more shards because of the ads, and maybe I'll get good champions and make more interesting videos. Consider it. But anyway, that's it. See ya.